report, the future of wildland firefighting might drastically change here in the U.S. as early as this week. Yeah, meteorologist Jorge Torres is learning about how a lawsuit to protect the environment may also slow down efforts to combat wildfires. The iconic images of air tankers dropping aerial retardant on wildfires may be a thing of the past, at least temporarily. At the end of the day, we want clean water. Andy Stahl is the executive director of the environmental group that filed a lawsuit in October of 2022, saying that, quote, the Forest Service's discharges of retardant pollutants into waterways from aircraft point sources is continuous, ongoing, and unpermitted in violation of the Clean Water Act, end quote. You know, the law is very clear. It's our nation's most fundamental environmental law, which says you cannot pollute without a permit. The retardant, Stahl says, pollutes waterways, has fertilizers and salts that can be harmful to aquatic animals, and isn't as effective as the Forest Service claims. Most fires are never attacked with retardant. Only about 5% are. Though 95% of the fires, obviously, Retardant doesn't make a difference at all because it isn't used. Forest Service officials do acknowledge the retardant has been dropped into waterways by mistake, but say it only accounts for less than 1% of the thousands of drops annually. I know that firefighters like it when we show up uh, on a fire that they're working on. John Gould is the president of 10 Tanker Air Carrier, which perform retardant drops on national forests during wildfires. He says the company's operations will continue with water or other qualified products but won't be as effective compared to what they already have in their arsenal. The effectiveness of, of water, for instance, is, uh, uh, you know, 50% of that of, of the effectiveness of, of long-term retardants. State land would not be impacted in this potential ruling. For Impact Earth, I'm meteorologist Jorge Torres with ABC 15, Arizona.